Hello guys. In today's video, we're going to look at how to create a PB01 when we already have the equipment number. So basically, when we get our bombs, also known as a bill of material, or uh, the component um, hand receipt, or the shortages, when we, we the, um, the, the bomb is what we use to record our shortages. So when we, we, we get the bomb, you, there are two things that you might see on you might see you might see your serial number or the equipment number so when you have your serial number you don't need to go to your sub and receipt trying to look for where the item is and all those things so all you need is your equipment number so when we have the equipment number we just go on and do our um, put our IW31 which is to create PB01 uh, or work order in the command field so there's one particular or, or important thing about GCSS Army. So when a T code ends with a one, it means to create. When it ends with a two, it means to display. And when it ends with a three, it means to change. <clears throat> yeah, so basically that's what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna create a PB01 uh, PB web order <clears throat> with the equipment number. Let's get into it. So, we type in our IW31 in the command field on the home page. You hit enter. So, I always say when it comes to priority, it depends on how urgently, uh, how urgent you want the item. So, you can choose whether high or no, low or um, medium. And the other type is always going to be PV01 since you're creating a PV01 work order. Now, uh, we already have our equipment number. So, we're just going to put our equipment number in. The equipment number uh, equipment field then we choose our business area <clears throat> don't worry about this we're just going to continue because i've already created a work order for that i'm just using this as, it as an example so i'm just going to hit continue to just override it and move on so don't forget your short text always something to describe what you're doing whether um, a shortage annex you put shortage annex you then you put your um serial number or the uh, the s slope that the item belongs to so it depends on how you going to name your um your work order so I prefer something that is easy identifiable by me so something that I can easily identify so from here it's just the basic normal of GCSS um, creating work order Don't forget your requirement quantity. So you put your requirement quantity one. Then whoever is going to receive it, you put it in there. So the recipient can be your the bumper number of the vehicle. And also don't forget about your uh, release strategy or the purchase requisition. Then after that, don't forget your green flag. You have to check it, click on it. Then you save it. Always, if you are ordering the item, you, will, you should always, when you're ordering the item, you should always um, put it on immediately. Then you check the green mark, the green, the green flag, then you save it. So um, most of the times, um, during, especially during the change of command, right, your PBO might tell you to put them on defer, right? There are two ways you can put them on the defer. You can put them on defer on the um, order, um, order tab right there. You can go there and do that, or you put it on never. So instead of um, putting it immediately, you put it on never, and you just save it. So you just created a work order without releasing it. But here, we want to put it on order so that the item can come in. So we release it. 
that we put it on immediately then we release it right here the green flag then we save it right there I'm not going to save it because uh, this just for training so we go back so basically like, this is all you need when you are trying to create a PB01 work order with just um, the command number known uh, the next video is going to be how to create a PB01 work order when you have the serial number which we are going to go through IQ IQ09 which is a T code it can be found under the component management so that's what we are going to do next. Then in the next video that I am going to upload Guys, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share so that other 93 Yankees can also get the knowledge. Thank you guys.